Hi, it's me again with Corel Draw Tips and Tricks, and I'm trying to figure out how to help this person. He says he has one of these holes that's cut like 10 times. Well, one way to cure that, and if you look, all these pieces are made up of lines. I mean, there are, if we select the whole thing, there's 1138 different objects. So one way to cure that and fix the uh, repetitive cutting on a single hole, we're at 567, so I changed my nut factor to six. I'm gonna get the smart fill tool, and I'm gonna just start, and I'm just hitting the left arrow key, and that's gonna fill in those things, and watch this. Now that's all one piece. So in about five, six, less than 10 smart fills, we can now take this and left click, right click, and now these are not made of lines anymore. It's a solid group and a solid cut. Now, let's, uh, let's delete this for a second, and I'm gonna show you the cut order of this, and I'm just gonna hold down the tab key. It's cutting it in some sort of order, but it's cutting all these different lines, and it jumps around, and, and then it's gonna jump down here. And you're really not gonna change the cut order, but let's back up, and now let's look at the cut order. I'm gonna hit the tab key, bam, it's done. I've got a little piece left over there. So if you wanna cut that nine, it goes to six, then it goes out to that gear and up, then the big one, then the three and the 12, and the, or the two and the one. Not a bad cut order. I wouldn't change that. It wouldn't make it worth it. For a laser engraver, it would have cut out, but it also, if you have duplicate holes, you won't have duplicate holes. Let me just kind of prove that here. Let's uh, let's make a circle and let's make it a hairline. We'll keep it black. I like, well, I'm gonna go ahead and make it red because your hairline should be red for cutting. And then his duplicate distance is all on good. So I'm gonna control D like five times. Well, there are five holes there in the, and they're on top of each other. So they're gonna cut how many ever times. So remember there's five holes. Let's just take a rectangle, use the smart fill tool, fill that in, move it over, left click, right click, get rid of our rectangle. Well, we're gonna have to break curve apart, then get rid of our rectangle, and then now, there's just one hole where this still has multiple holes and it's going to, and the laser is going to, you're asking it to do it. So it's going to cut those six instead of one. So if you smart fill it, it'll, it'll fix that problem and put all your joints to better to, and actually maybe even give you a better cut. Cause at some of those parts, you know, might not have been completely touching. Well, they must've been cause the smart fill tool filled them in. But I hope that helped a little bit. Thank you for watching.